So ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to bring in the fireside chat here in front of all of you. We have with us uh, Mr. Aman Gupta, co-founder Boat, and uh, we will be in conversation uh, be with Aman Batra, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief, Exchange for Media and BW Business World. A very warm welcome to both of you gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Gupta, let me start by asking you that you had an incredible journey with Boat. Uh, you've been able to build a brand in a very competitive domain and for an Indian brand to be able to beat all international brands that have been so well entrenched. Uh, tell us how, how did this disruption happen? What is the kind of innovation that you've done? And uh, what can we see more from both? Thank you, Dr. Anurag Batra. And that's a nice question. I'll tell you, yes, we were not the only ones in this space. It was a very highly commoditized space. When we entered also, there were 200 brands. But I think, uh, you know, times were changing. Uh, consumers were changing. Millennials were changing. And I think the brands, uh, you know, took time to change. And they are changing now. And we came in and we disrupted the way Indians looked at audio. And if you look at the product also, you know, uh, Salman Khan said, baby ko base pasand hai. So, you know, we, we believe in that. That's India. India ko base pasand hai. So, if you look at the products we have, they're very base heavy. You know, they're fine-tuned to the Indian population. And our products are very rugged because Indians like rough and tough usage of their products. So, our products are good. Our, our sound is very Indian. And that's, that. you know, inshallah, God has been kind. We were lucky enough. And uh, consumers accepted us. And, you know, we're still... We're still grateful to the consumers to to give us the love back. As an Indian brand, we are very proud of what we've done, and we'll keep we'll keep doing things. We'll keep uh, bringing new products, new technologies to our boat heads, the community we love. Aman, you boat became the largest selling product and brand in its category. Yes. Now, for any Indian brand, that's huge, and on yes. the back of that, and uh, uh, for a young brand like boat, which is five years young, right? Uh, yeah, uh, that's a big milestone. Once yes. you achieve that milestone, what are the new milestones you've set for yourself? First of, you know, the whole world, the the whole world starts looking at us that we'll be doing, uh, you know, disruptions again and again. And you know, now we've become the leaders. And you know, I always keep telling my team that, uh, you know, I still think like a challenger brand because if you start acting like a leader, then you'll start losing. Uh, you know, you 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 you're. you're your mindset should be that, you know, we came, we saw, we disrupted and somebody else can come see and disrupt also. So always be on your toes, stay humble, but, uh, you know, keep 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 looking at uh, uh, competition and don't lose out. Don't be uh, complacent that you're number one. So always think like a challenger brand and start, uh, you know, keep that in your mind. Uh, there are a lot of new technologies coming up, Dr. Patra. Uh, and, you know, uh, if, we, if again, as I, I, I going back to the first question that, if we don't change, the consumers will uh, go to some other brands and they will they will make us change. Or we may, we may not survive after a few years. So we need to continuously adapt to ourselves. You know, we've seen a lot in how uh, telecom market, uh, you know, how brands didn't change and they, they lost out. So we need to be on our toes. We need to keep changing. If I may ask you, uh, which right are the way. other companies that yeah. you kind of look up to from an innovation and a disruption standpoint, whether Indian or international, which are those companies? So uh, for for me, Dr. Batra, uh, Apple is one, you know, I think for all of us, Apple is one which, you know, which disrupts itself. I remember Steve Jobs also once said that, you know, when he was bringing in the iPhone and somebody said that, why you want to disrupt, an, you know, the whole iPod business will be disrupted, but he still did that. It's better to disrupt yourself than others disrupting you, right? Uh, so Apple is one which which keeps this technology thing on on the top, on top always, and then there is uh, uh, Google which does that beautifully. Whether it's voice technologies, whether it's cloud, whether it's uh, uh, going beyond just the normal search, whether it's Android today, whether it's car, whether it's connected home, connected eco devices. Uh, so Google does that very well. And the third company I would say is Amazon, which also uh, uh, you know does reinvent itself. If you look at how they've grown and what they're doing world over. I think that is one more company. These are incredible companies, but among these are all global companies. Yeah. Apple, Amazon, Google. Google. Is there any Indian company that you look up and say, wow, well, they got it right and they've made a huge impact. Uh, so, 
So, uh, so, uh, so I, I, I am, I, I like TCS as a company. They have done India proud. You know, look at how they've taken technology. Infosys is doing in the technology space. Infosys has also done very well. If you look at HDFC Bank, people used to say that you know you used to trust only government banks earlier. But people today, if I meet a, meet a lot of people, HDFC Bank as a, uh, as a, as a, as a bank has done. So there are a lot of brands I trust. These are you know all big brands in India. If you call it uh, TCS is one. Uh, uh, this HDFC is also the other one, and Infosys. These are three brands I look up to. TCS, TCS, Infosys. Clearly, yeah. performance matters. Real matters to you. And yeah, correct. Both, both, <laughs> you are getting both. You know, correct. you've taken TCS both in terms of revenue, profit yes. impact, number of employees, yes. contribution to GDP, and it's truly a global brand. Correct. You know, while it may have come from India, employs yeah. a lot of Indians, but it's truly yeah. a you know a transnational from India. You know, yeah, clearly. Yeah, and you know, as our prime minister said, the startups of today are multinationals of tomorrow, and that is, you know, that is what you know, entrepreneurs and startups like us should also keep aspiring to do. Okay, and Aman, if you, you know, if you look at your own journey over the last five years, what are your personal traits as a leader that made the disruption possible, that made the dream a reality? Of course, there is a bit of luck, serendipity. You know, we are predestined. But we don't know those things. We make efforts. We build on our beliefs. Yeah. And we build on our vision. So tell us what are your and your co-founders' personal traits in chemistry sure. uh, that kind of made both happen. You know, to get yeah. to the place you got in a very short span yeah. of time. I think, Narak sir, you know there is a famous saying: "Khudi, khudi ko kar bula detna ki har tak di bande se puche bata tere raza kya hai." So I'll tell you, you know, if you make your brand strong, if you make your product strong, there'll be a lot of consumers, there'll be a lot of retailers, there'll be a lot of ecosystem players coming to you. Uh, you know, so my belief is that, you know, you need to invest in brand building, you need to invest in, you know, organization building that the employees start coming to you, build a brand, then the consumers start coming to you, build a profitable business that the investors start coming to you. So I personally believe in building things ground up there. You know, there's a, we, we, you know, we as a startup are, are a, and we're very different startup. You know, today if you meet a lot of startups, people say that boss, what type of startup is this? Is burning money. But I proudly say that we are one of those startups which likes to earn money but not burn money. So we, you know, the Gupta in me, the chartered accountant in me, never made me lose money. So you know, we are very ROI driven. Whether it's me or my co-founder, who's also you know a Gujarati. So you know, there is there is you know there's an old saying of Nanda in our blood, right? So we don't like to waste any money we are you know as uh, conduce in our way of thinking and very uh, profit and roi driven as our you know that's what our company is and you know i i try to tell that to you all my employees that you know start thinking uh, you know always always be frugal in your thinking but aggressive uh, in your spending but aggressive in your thinking so we are very aggressive i am very aggressive and if you you know to your second point on on samir so i think samir and I have that yin and yang. He balances me out. So it's more of a partnership. It's like marriage, right? When when two people get married, they you know one is one has to compromise. So there is there is a lot of times when in partnership also Samir and I, uh, you know, he he brings uh, some sanity in the process in the decision making, uh, where where I am the mad guy. Good, a bit, a, you know, calibrated madness is what creates magic. I would say. My last okay. question to you: At the yeah. end of the day. The biggest differentiator in the category you are are design and brand yeah. building. Yeah. You know, consumers, of course, liking the product. In my yeah. previous conversation, you talked about how uh, you're always doing research on the product. The product yeah. is the, uh, at the center, yeah. the performance yeah. is at the center. So tell yeah. us both from a performance slash product standpoint and from a brand building standpoint, how have you achieved it? And what is the kind of marketing we'll see from both mm -hmm. in the future? There'll be a lot of aggressive marketing we'll do and we've been doing and you know that's the moat we've created so you know what's the moat boat is the moat uh the brand is the moat we've created and uh at the heart of the pro uh, uh heart of all that is uh, the product so i'll i'll break that into two parts if you if you market your brand well then the consumers want to try you out right and if the product is good then the product consumers will keep buying you right there's a repeat consumer base and you know with the market we are in we keep adding to consumer lifestyle like we've added the watch and our watch is now going to be the best seller 
so uh, if your product is good consumers will uh, also recommend it to their friends whether it's through reviews whether it's through word of mouth but if the brand is good then they will keep buying you because you stay, it it adds to their lifestyle we are in a space which is very lifestyle driven it's an aspirational brand right it's not it's not a cheap brand people want to buy it to it because it adds to their lifestyle so we keep building the brand to pull them in and we keep building the product to keep them in thank you so much aman gupta for talking was this was aman gupta the founder of boat uh, boat is a brand that all of us have come to know in the last 5 years and use it uh, it has become the largest seller in its category as a company it raised uh, more than 100 million dollars and continues to raise more money for its growth uh, and it's totally home grown and yes. you know i can tell you young millennials love it Uh, i remember yeah. asking my 17 year old daughter about boat and she said i love it it's a fantastic product so all the best to you aman gupta uh, look Thank forward you, to doing another conversation soon again with you and i'm Absolutely. sure uh, boat's continued journey will be of making an impact thank you always always a pleasure to be here thank you for inviting me bye